Hi everybody, I'm Jeff Hernandez with the Connie Cola Group. And today, instead of doing the question of the day, we are going to do a quick market update for the greater Phoenix metro area. Okay, let's jump right in. Here's the bottom line, folks. Sales are increasing, inventory is increasing, and buyers have more choices. Over the last 90 days, the number of homes for sale on the market has increased 39%. That's still down 16.5% from a year ago, but the good news is the number of homes that have been sold in the last 30 days is up 3%. So that's a good sign. As far as inventory goes, as you can see from the second column of this graph, inventory is increasing. In March, we had less than two weeks of inventory. Uh, as of today, we have about three weeks of inventory. So we've doubled our capacity uh, since March of this year. We're currently at about the same rate of inventory as November of 2020. The median price per square foot has jumped 33% in the last year from about $181 a square foot to about $240 a square foot, which is huge. That's a significant increase for one year. Another indicator that the pendulum is starting to swing in favor of buyers is that the sold to list price ratios are starting to decrease. A normal market would have about 98 to 99% uh, ratios, meaning sellers are getting about 98 to 99% of their asking price uh, in a normal market. Right now, we are still over 100%, which means that sellers are getting over asking price on average. A few months ago, we were at about 102%. That is now declining, as you can see from the graph, showing the decline over the last uh, few months since the spring. That's a good sign. Uh, it's a positive sign for buyers, and it's still not too late for sellers to, um, to take advantage of this market. So what does this mean for you? If you're a seller, you still have an opportunity to take advantage of the seller's market and sell uh, on, on your terms. If you're a buyer sitting on the fence and waiting around for an opportunity to buy, it may cost you money. Prices are still increasing over time, maybe not at the same rapid rate that, that they were over the last year or so but they're still increasing and they are increasing for the foreseeable future. Interest rates will not remain low for the forever, so now's the time to take advantage. A week ago, they were down to 2.77%, uh, so that's still a good sign for the market. It's still not too late to jump in. Waiting too long is gonna cost you money. As always, if you're ready to buy or sell a home, let's connect so we can discuss your options in this market. I'm Jeff Hernandez with the Connie Cola Group at Launch Real Estate. We move you forward. That's what we do best. Bye, everybody.